In No Fighting, No Biting, by Els Holmund Minerick, a story centered on sibling dynamics, the author explores themes of conflict resolution and the growth of empathy. Set within the familiar context of two young children, Rosa and Willie, the narrative captures the tension that arises from sibling rivalry and the eventual understanding that develops between them. Through the lens of these two characters, Minerick illustrates the challenges of learning to live in harmony, which is a universal struggle for children. At the heart of the story is the aunt, who serves as a guiding figure. She notices that Rosa and Willie are constantly at odds, fighting and biting each other. In response, the aunt tells them a story of two little alligators who behave much like them, bickering and causing chaos. This parallel story acts as a teaching tool, subtly showing Rosa and Willie the consequences of their behavior without directly reprimanding them. The aunt's role as a storyteller gives the children a safe way to reflect on their actions, as they begin to see themselves in the mischievous alligators. The story's use of humor helps soften the message, making it accessible and engaging for young readers. The depiction of the alligator's squabbles mirrors the often exaggerated quarrels between children, and the absurdity of the situation makes it easy for Rosa and Willie to laugh at themselves. Minerick skillfully uses this humor to shift the children's perspective, helping them to step outside their own frustrations and recognize that their fighting, though normal, can be unnecessary and even harmful. The simplicity of the plot and the repetitive nature of the dialogue reflect the developmental stage of the book's intended readers. The structure and language are designed to resonate with early readers, making it an effective tool for teaching not just reading skills but social-emotional lessons as well. By positioning the ant as a patient and understanding figure, the author also models effective adult intervention. The ant doesn't scold or impose harsh consequences, instead, she uses storytelling as a gentle and indirect way to guide the children toward self-awareness and better behavior. In addition to the main theme of conflict resolution, the book subtly addresses the importance of empathy. As Rosa and Willie listen to the story of the alligators, they begin to understand that their actions affect others, and that cooperation leads to a more enjoyable experience for everyone. The story of the alligators serves as a metaphor for the children's own lives, offering them a mirror through which they can see the impact of their behavior. This realization is a key turning point in the book, as it leads to a moment of reflection for the characters, and by extension, the readers. Else Holmlund Minerick's ability to weave a moral lesson into a simple, humorous story is a hallmark of her writing. No fighting, no biting, doesn't preach or lecture, but instead invites children to come to their own conclusions about how they should treat others. The characters of Rosa and Willie are relatable, as their arguments and frustrations are typical of siblings everywhere. By the end of the book, the siblings' shift in behavior shows that even the smallest acts of understanding can bring about positive change in relationships. The illustrations, while secondary to the text, complement the story by providing visual cues that help young readers engage with the narrative. The playful depictions of the alligator's antics and the children's reactions enhance the humor and reinforce the lessons learned through the ant story. Together, the text and illustrations create a cohesive reading experience that is both entertaining and educational. In conclusion, No Fighting, No Biting, offers a gentle yet effective exploration of sibling rivalry, using humor and storytelling to impart lessons on empathy and conflict resolution. Through the story of the quarrelsome alligators, Rosa and Willie, and the young readers, learn that cooperation and understanding are far more rewarding than fighting. Minerick's simple yet insightful approach makes the book an enduring favorite for teaching important social lessons to children in a way that is both engaging and memorable.